Hello students, welcome to EduCell. Today's session is all about recursion tree method. We are going to solve a recurrence relation using recursion tree method. Here you have already read there are other methods to solve the recurrence relation which is derived from a recursion method is iteration method where you are iterating the informations or it iterating the functions value and you are substituting there that previous video is all about that one next substitution method where you are actually approaching for a guess next for mathematical induction you are actually proving whether a guess is correct or not and you have actually taken the basis and everything like your target was to find the constant the, the range of the constant as well as n naught or n zero Okay, that we discussed in the previous videos and uh, the master theorem is all about like you have to remember the, uh, the, the actually you can say the template of it if you are matching with a template then you have three or five cases like the major three cases that you have to keep in mind other sub cases are also there you have to just apply the sub cases and you are just finding the uh, time complexity immediately okay but in recursion tree method there are other approaches we are actually using here no, no need to remember the methods you are just remember the approaches the same thing also there in uh, iteration and substitution also recursion tree method is also we are actually keeping in mind the procedure only okay so let us start with a, a very simple question uh, suppose the question is all about t of n or uh, tn is given as 1 and uh, you can say it's a base condition for us where n is uh, you can say if n is equal to 1 and then uh, t n by 2 plus 1 if n is greater than 1 suppose this is a question given to you and what you have to do is you have to solve this recurrence relation using recursion tree method okay so before starting the recursion tree method i have to write certain steps which you should remember okay and you have to apply it then you'll get a correct answer okay let us start the steps okay the recursion tree method okay here i'm just writing the steps step one then first what exactly we have to uh, decide as for the step one we have to first uh, focus on what the function is okay like here the function function and the cost you can say function and cost will be considered first like what is the cost and what is the function then we have to mention each side the left hand side left hand side we should keep for you can say left hand side we will dedicate it to number of number of nodes per level what is level what how to find it we will discuss don't worry in step 3 the right hand side we will dedicate a cost for each cost per level cost what the cost that we got we will keep that one next in step 4 we have to find cost of leaf node okay which is uh, one of our important role it will play one of the important role i'm just naming it cl okay cost of leaf node if you want to find you have to write number of leaf nodes into cost of each leaf node okay this is the formula don't worry we will solve it before that you should know what are the steps include next sum of 
all intermediate nodes nodes it represented as ci okay so when we are finding sum of all intermediate nodes you can add all the cost you know the number of labels number of labels into cost of cost per label step 6 which is the final step step 6 the final step is time complexity time complexity is cl plus ci this is what your target is once you are finding the time complexity then your work is over okay your your target should be function and cost make this as a tree okay when you are making this as a tree then your left hand side uh, the tree basically uh, left hand side means uh, i'll tell you that which one the left portion you can say not left hand side you can say it's a left portion and right portion we have to divide like number of nodes per level cost per level next we are finding the cost of uh, leaf node and cost of intermediate node that will be combined or added then only we can find the complexity the time complexity using recurrence uh, recursion tree method here when you are finding the solution simply write the problem the the function which is uh, given excluding the base condition this first one is base condition the base condition is all about you can say uh, t of 1 is 1 it is written like this where n is equal to 1 then only we can get the value as this instead of n you put 1 okay t of 1 is 1 this is your base condition do you know the base condition you need to reduce towards the base condition why because you know it that i recently told in the, the previous videos you can when you watch that one then you can find why we need base condition the main reason is when you are actually translating to something you are trying to understanding when you are trying to understand the thing during understanding the thing well so you need to try to solve it in such a way that that could be at least reaching to the base condition like i know the value of suppose a suppose i am getting a problem what the meaning of a and a simultaneously i know a but what is a or a square you can say i can try to relate the value of a could be one so if it is one so a square is one so as per mathematics we can have the base conditions we have the solution somehow we have the solution then based on this solution we are going for other solutions without basing we cannot go for any solutions that's why base condition is very important uh, or you can say so important role for recurrence relation otherwise you do not have any other solutions you cannot uh, go to uh, reductions if there is no such reductions you can uh, take then you cannot get a proper solution or a time complexity you cannot find like you have already seen k times the k times we actually saying we stop somehow we say we reach the base condition then only we are actually solving based on the base condition here also the same thing it is here you can check like we have taken t n by 2 plus 1 okay in this what exactly we have to do if it instead of one or uh, n is there or log n is there or something is that one is uh, uh, representing the constant only if there is constant uh, it should be better we will keep each node will be the function only because cost if you want to write not an issue you can write cost as per corman book okay uh, which is written by the mit professors corman book uh, uh, the algorithm design there it is clearly mentioned each and every node is your cost node okay the cost will be represented here the cost is 1 and 1 could not be changed for the okay in iterations also you have done this one so iteration the cost is 1 so cost will be 1 throughout like you have to write 1 1 might be confusion could occur that's why it would be better for us to write the functions directly uh, without simplifying that one okay 
so uh, if a log n will be there what we have to write that i'll tell you that one okay first now you just remember the first step first we have to write the recurrence relation as this is the recurrence relation if n is greater than 1 okay now you start the first node is this one from the first node one is the cost this is the cost and this is the function okay uh, this function is a division function that we recently said in the previous video okay in introductory video you can say why decreasing function is important and why division function is important in this okay we will uh, discuss that one when t of n is uh, there then the next function could be t of t n by 2 okay here if you put the value of t n by 2 in place of n then it could be t n by 4 then t n by 4 if you place inside the n then that would be t n by 8 like up to k times suppose k times you are running for k times we have to uh, find a pattern that I told you finding a pattern is very easy like here is nothing is written there so you can say it's divided by 2 to the power 0 here 2 to the power 1 here 2 to the power 2 here 2 to the power 3 okay instead of this I'm just writing okay 2 to the power 2 next 2 to the power 3 because 8 is written it was written previously I just converting into 2 to the power 3 here nothing is written you can say it's 2 to the power 0 because something divided by 1 is also the same thing which we have written okay n by 1 suppose I have written so it's n by default if 1 you are representing it's you can write 2 to the power 0 okay so uh, it's not that much needed now if k times we are running the function could be written as t n by k but we are saying once we are running for k times in the uh, recursion tree method first we have to say here our cost we are actually reaching our cost which is said to be our base condition our base condition is this one okay the cost we know is t of 1 is 1 that we know we know that we reached the base condition you can write this a uh, function or else you can write t of 1 okay so in some sometimes in, in a book also they directly written the base condition instead of this function I, I, I have written because I want to make it very clear to you uh, for you to understand what exactly is going on I told you the left hand side will be dedicated to the number of uh, I can say your number of nodes per level okay How many uh, nodes are there that we will discuss that time now the right hand side is dedicated for the number of uh, it's it's better uh, we are writing actually the cost cost per level okay level means as a tree we should start from level 0 okay level 0 because the starting the the uh, root is your level 0 next is level 2 level 1 level 1 next level 2 okay so here the number of nodes or the child nodes you can say are 1 here 1 okay here also in level 3 it's one now okay so here at level three here we are having three at level two here we are having two two to the power two at level one we are having two to the power one like this for level k because it's running for k times at level k okay two to the power k that i have written it's one two and three like this we are having k for level k okay and definitely one child will be there or one node could be possible here the cost is cost is one so here the cost you have to write one 
suppose in uh, iteration method if you do not know actually what should be the cost of it you can take the example of it suppose to find t n by 2 you can put the value there t n by 4 plus 1 again the cost is 1 so that is why the cost is not getting changed here just using the same thing for t n by 4 if you want to check what the value of t n by 4 as per the uh, iteration method to find the t n by 4 value you are just replacing in place of n there so here n by 4 by 2 plus 1 so which is t n by 8 we are finding plus the cost is 1 though the cost is 1 so it's better we are writing cost is 1 directly okay so here cost is 1 like this so cost are 1 here also the cost will be 1 now we have done 50 percent of it our target is now to take the assumption why because k times we are running though we are running for k times we say it's over now okay let us take assume we reached we have reached the base condition for running k times okay we are actually we have reached the base condition for running k times for that our base condition says t of 1 is 1 how we are finding here it is written n equal to 1 if n equal to 1 for tn will be 1 if n equal to 1 is ka matlab kya hai by n ke jaga 1 dal do na simple this is what exactly we are writing as a base condition okay base condition is defined as we reach the base condition because hume pata hai ki t of 1 ka value 1 hai baki ka value nahi pata if you do not know the value of that one so that's why we are reducing that at least we should have to get the final conditions or number of times at least we are finding how many times it is running based on the time we can say the time complexity this much because we read complexities are uh, needed to complete a task complexity is needed to complete a task time laga do time complexity space laga do space complexity like needed to complete a task is complexity suppose i am saying the answer for time complexity is time needed to uh, complete a task is time complexity uh, i can say uh, space needed to complete a task is space complexity definitely it's correct not an issue now though uh, we told this function uh, reached the base condition then what we are doing we have to equate that one n by 2 to the power k y 2 to the power k that we discussed because of this label k for label k we are writing k for label 3 here it is 3 that is why we are actually trying to find a pattern and here it is equivalent to the base condition now n by 2 to the power k will be 1 here our target is to get the uh, value of k now okay n will be 2 to the power k as for the mathematics next to get the k value we are actually uh, add uh, multiplying both the side log 2 why because log 2 if you multiply as for the log the power will be at the front you can check multiplying log base to both the side okay in equation 1 suppose it's equation 1 no? log 2n log base 2 to the power k that you have already read log power if power is there it will be reaches to the front okay so then the value of k could be first log n base 2 next k into log 2 base 2 log 2 base 2 the value is 1 that we know okay then the kth value is log n base 2 this is the value of k now you can put this is as equation 2 now what we have to do we are actually trying to find out what is the value of cl and what is the value of ci okay now cl is 
that we discussed in the previous one CL is the step for number of leaf nodes into cost of each leaf node okay I am writing that one again number of leaf nodes is a very simple don't worry if you are ap ap approaching this uh, formula also you will get a correct answer okay it is very easy to understand that's why number of leaf nodes into cost of each leaf nodes okay number of leaf nodes are how much uh, this is root and this is leaf leaf is the kth level is considered as leaf and we say we are uh, we have stopped this condition so here the maximum other uh, you can say the number of nodes are one okay then cost of each leaf node cost of each leaf node that we reach the base condition for this base condition we read t of 1 is 1 so the cost is cost is 1 this is our cost clear this is very easy to understand don't worry if you are not getting it that is comment box don't worry okay but you at least try to understand why one we are actually writing because the cost why we are saying this is cost because we have reached the base condition we assumed that without assumption we cannot get a correct answer okay as an assumption basically okay next we are now at number of level uh, nodes are this and the cost will be that i told you though the cost is we reached at the final level that's why we say it's a cost now cl would be one into one you can write one or else you can write instead of this uh, writing one you can write uh, uh, like uh, constant as any constant zero also part of constant but if instead of suppose one if zero is there don't say it's a zero it might be something but you keep constant as something okay but though one one written two times so that's why i'm just keeping as one but constant is always constant here here zero if multiply with suppose n you shouldn't say zero is multiplying with one uh, n means zero will be the correct answer no never because here mathematics is different we are actually focusing on the complexity part of it complexity point of view where we are working so here we can say it's a constant constant if it is multiplying with the variable the variable will be the answer we can say the variable will be answered why because variable is bigger than the constant that i told you Matlab, the better example is one person is uh, you know uh, uh, like uh, you can say you are at a base basement okay basement the top floor of the basement if a person is suppose above the first floor and the top floor also that is that that we how we can say it's a variable it's a simple example and a best example you can say in general we people are avoiding the persons who are uh, actually using any other languages like slangs or we are avoiding them so there are two persons how to differentiate constant and variable i can tell you if you uh, you know avoid the persons who are actually drunk okay yeah, drunk people we are avoiding because we know they are not incapable of saying uh, the correct things we know and the person is worst person so we are avoiding the persons who actually drunk and uh, at least if you compare with the person who uh, have not drunk and are just using plants okay gali de raha theek hai gali de raha and wo piya nahi hai dusra banda hai pi chuka hai aur gali de raha to hum maximum kisko avoid karenge jo piya hua hai to maan lo ki variable hai bhaiya wo kuch bhi bolta hai the variable is maximum that's why we need to avoid it so this is how we can uh, differentiate the constant with the variable okay so in that case if it is getting multiplied with uh, a zero so in that case what it happened so we can say it's better n into zero is n because a, a constant multiply over okay it's not zero that uh, why i'm saying because in future we will do we will work on it that's why and cl is done next ci here ci is the uh, uh, sum of all the that i'm writing it here sum of all intermediate nodes okay it's a sum of all intermediate nodes then what is sum of all 
estimated nodes to find that one i told you number of labels in the tree okay into cost per or cost of each label you can say or cost per label okay so number of labels will be that we discussed is number of levels are 0 to k k times we run you can say p time q time r time but do not say n time okay why because we have defined n is variable for us we shouldn't take that one we are just taking the constant time somehow it is constant why the definite time tak isko chalna chahiye finite number of steps hone chahiye finite matlab tum gin sakte ho isliye finite hai do finite hai that's why we are taking constant rather than the variable ye pata hona chahiye dimag mein hona chahiye why k why not n matlab n is variable we cannot uh, we cannot know exactly how much time it is running but for constant we know this many times it or uh, this much time it will run theek hai hum pata kar sakte hain isliye hum usko le rahe hain instead of n any variable you can take not an issue यहाँ पे k है क्योंकि नंबर ऑफ लेवल्स वी आर रनिंग इज फॉर k टाइम्स कॉस्ट फॉर ईच लेवल कॉस्ट फॉर ईच लेवल इज कंसिडर एज वन ओके सो नाउ यू मल्टीप्लाई विथ वन सपोज यू आर सेइंग सर कांस्टेंट इज गेटिंग मल्टीप्लाई विद अनदर कांस्टेंट कीप इट दैट कांस्टेंट यहां पे वन इज वी नो 1 एंड 2 जो बड़ा है उसको हम लिखेंगे 2 है तो मान लो कांस्टेंट हम यहां पे कितने टाइम चला है वो तो हमारे लिए थोड़ा बड़ा है नॉर्मल कांस्टेंट से दैट्स व्हाई we can say k simple k we can write so i'm just uh, modifying that one instead of that c i could be written as your k okay now i told you the last step is time complexity equal to c l plus c i okay so here cl is constant that we have already taken and k we have written okay you put the value of k the value of k is we have seen here is this one okay log n simple right 1 plus log n base 2 here we know it's a constant it's a log logarithmic time complexity we know the bigger one is logarithmic time complexity so we are representing in big o that's why the bigger value will be shown okay next the time complexity will be big o of log n base 2 okay or else if anyone is saying sir can i write the time complexity as big o of uh, log n base 2 plus c क्या ये सही है ऑफ कोर्स यस इज आल्सो पार्ट ऑफ द करेक्ट आंसर बिकॉज कांस्टेंट इज एडेड एंड इफ यू आर राइटिंग ओनली लॉग एन बेस टू एज अ करेक्ट आंसर थियोरेटिकली इट इज करेक्ट बिकॉज इन प्लेस ऑफ के वी आर जस्ट यूजिंग द लॉग एन सो दिस इज आल्सो करेक्ट सो इन दिस वे व्हाट वी फाउंड वी आर जस्ट अप्लाइंग द सिंपल अप्रोच एंड अप्लाइंग दिस अप्रोच वी आर फाइंडिंग द केथ वैल्यू Kth value is actually playing a vital role sometimes that we have seen it. So this is how we have completed the first problem in a recursion tree method. I hope you understood this one. Next video is all about a decreasing function. First one is divisible function. So next one uh, we are going to discuss is decreasing function where it is zero if n value is zero. And you can say it's tn minus 1 plus uh, 1 if n is greater than 0. Let us take an example of it. Okay. So well, this is an example. And we have to go for a recursion tree method. As per the tree method, always remember the constant is there. Rather than using the constant in, in 111, better we use the function. As per the core man, constant is written. Okay, it is there. So to uh, difference it well, we can use our t of n not an issue. Next will be t of n minus 1. Simple, I am just up applying the approach which we read. Like the unknown term, the unknown function is this one. 
next unknown could be like if as for the iteration you can put the n value as n minus 1 you will get the n minus 2 as for the iteration iteration that we have already done okay so like this uh, you can go for t n minus 3 also like you can go for t n minus k if you are running for k times okay so n minus k q ho raha hai bhai sahab yahan pe dekh sakte ho okay like here uh, we discussed that here the cost per cost per level that we have decided next number of nodes per level okay so your number of nodes per level is for level 0 it is 1 for level 1 also it is 1 okay for level 2 it also 2 for level 3 sorry uh, for level 3 is 1 then for level k also it is 1 level 2 level 3 and level k why k because k times we are running if level 1 so here is minus 1 for level 2 minus 2 level 3 minus 3 level k minus k for that reason i have just divided next cost for each level cost is 1 now so you are writing for the first time next if you have any doubt also you can go for it iteration in the rough side you can check t of n minus 1 if you put to know the value if you want to put here t n minus 1 in place of n you put that one plus cost because cost could not be changed you are changing the n value if you are changing that n value it is written as n minus 2 because minus 1 minus 1 will be minus 2 plus 1 so here the cost is again one so like the like like this you can get the cost throughout okay the cost will be one throughout you can check here one cost will be one then cost will be one also here cost will be one now our 50 percent of the work is over we have created the tree here is not a binary tree only single single element on the basis of the function we are actually finding the cost okay now cl if you want to find out what is the value of cl cl is the number of leaf nodes number of leaf nodes the last node leaf node is considered as the last node also you can say number of leaf nodes or the last nodes may leak last nodes number of last nodes into cost per each leaf node leaf or last nodes okay so here number of leaf nodes will be here is one last is one and here we say we have reached we have reached the condition uh, which condition the best condition best condition is t of zero is zero how we are writing it here you can say if n is 0 if n is 0 then our condition is 0 this is our base condition to know the kth value we need to take the assumption before that I am just doing if, if you are, are taking the assumption of the last also that could be possible if you are not going to take the assumptions uh, uh you know after that also that could be possible but we are actually finding the cl ci this is also another uh, approach that that's why i'm just saying uh, here the last nodes are one into cost for each leaf node is zero why zero because t of zero is zero that's why the cost is zero i have uh, written there okay though it's it's a base condition okay it's a base condition that's why we are writing that one it's not zero if you're writing zero also it's a constant okay if you're writing suppose zero will be the correct answer but here both are constant not an issue so you can write the constant also uh, instead of that you keep as it is or you 
just change it okay so that i think i should change to zero is a constant or else you can write or you can write cl will be one because of it's a constant okay c is a constant c is not a mathematical zero we are using okay zero constant one constant so constant into constant will be your constant okay if variable into constant you are writing variable into constant will be variable because variable will be bigger than the constant okay this is what we expect that's why is zero means we are not exactly using a mathematical condition okay next c l is done now c i is a sum of all intermediate nodes mediate nodes so for that number of levels into cost per level number of levels are like k times we are running so k simple you are writing cost for each level is 1 1 each that's why we are just writing 1 now the c i is k because k is a bigger constant that's why i'm writing it you can write one not an issue but the bigger constant i'm just again writing it bigger constant into constant will be bigger constant okay this is what we should remember all of which otherwise we cannot solve it properly okay next we know the time complexity is cl and ci before that we should know what is the value of k we are now assuming that we have reached the base condition which is zero okay now we are at base condition the function will be equal to the base function okay the base function is zero now then you remove that one n minus k equal to zero now n equal to k or k equal to n okay now you put the value there time complexity equal to cl plus ci once it is done cl is 1 or 0 you can put suppose 1 i am taking plus k or dosre side mein kya kar raha i am just for cl and ci i am just changing the value as 0 not an issue cl and ci anyway, this is a starting one so you should remember it well okay 0 plus constant is adding with a bigger constant the bigger constant will be written okay now the time complexity is is k for both the condition here also it's k here also it is k and k is that you know k is the n now the time complexity is in short i am writing time complexity as tc equal to big of n simple if you want to say sir can i write n plus c you can write why because it's constant is also a constant constant the value of constant is n and others could be same as this so n is theoretical possible and practically the correct value will be big of n plus c it's a practical answer why constant is adding here that is why c you have to represent but though you are writing c okay whatever you are writing after writing the answer you should write where c is constant okay that should be clearly being mentioned otherwise nobody can understand okay so i hope it is understood by you okay it's a simple question we actually discussed where 
uh, like the CL and CI, how it is working, that we discussed. So this is how I, I have also written the note sideways. Uh, I could have to write it the last, but I think whenever I am just discussing, that could be a better format to discuss the note sideways. Okay. Here, this is the method or the simpler method to find the solution for recurrence relation using recursion tree method. Thank you all for watching this video. Thank you.